Welcome to this demonstration of School Statistics, or School Stats for short. School Stats comes in two versions, Annual and Half Term, the differences which I will highlight later. Briefly, School Stats tracks the progress of pupils across a school using national curriculum level data. It also has some support for foundation stage profile points. Although the main statistics work with the national curriculum levels. In addition, it is able to give a range of statistics, including pupils on free school meals, special educational needs, gender, and so on. You can also add criteria yourself, which has enabled it to be also be used effectively as a research tool. For this demonstration, I will be using school stats half term version with data from a fictional school of 24 pupils. School stats runs in Microsoft Excel, which is widely available in schools. This demo is running on Excel 2003, but it was built in the 2002 version and is future compatible. Macros need to be enabled for it to run effectively. First of all, this is a data screen. The first few columns are where you input personal data for the pupils. It needs the first name and year group columns to be completed for the statistics to be calculated. All the others are optional. After the personal data columns are columns that show up to date or current data it is worth noting here that only grey background cells are editable. All other cells are automatically updated by the spreadsheet. Columns after these are where you put in end of half term assessment data. You can just track data every full term if you wish. You may wish to print from this screen However, as you can see, there are many, many columns. And Excel will try to squash them all on one sheet, making it very small. The buttons at the top of the data sheet will hide data you do not need, making it much better to print. For example, you may only be looking at maths data, so you can turn off all the other subjects and you may not need all the personal data, so that can be turned off too, leaving you with a much better print. Another useful button is input mode, which turns off all non-editable cells. The statistics screen gives you a whole range of data summaries. It shows you the number of pupils in a data sheet, and if you've inputted the gender on the data screen, it shows the number of boys and girls, and this also has a percentage of the total, and so on. Below this are the level statistics. In this demo of 24 pupils, we can see that for maths, by the end of the summer term, 10 pupils were above age expected level, which is about 43% of the children. There is one pupil with no data, as they have left the school during the year. The statistics are just taking this into account, as 12 pupils made two sub-levels progress in maths, and this shows as 52% of pupils, and not the 50% you would expect if all 24 pupils were still in school. This half-term version of school statistics also enables the setting of a target at the beginning of the year. By the end of the year, we can see that 14 of the 23 pupils achieved their target, approximately 61%. One other major feature of school stats is to report statistics on particular groups. Going back to the data screen, you can filter the pupils you require statistics on. 
For example, let's say you want to see how well girls are performing in writing. Select Girls Only on the Gender tab. Now go back to the statistics screen. All the statistics will show for just that group of pupils, not for the whole school as we saw previously. You may apply more than one filter if you wish. Another example is that you may want to see who is underperforming in writing. One way this can be done is by filtering all the pupils who are under their age expected level by the end of the school year in summer 2. Going to the statistics screen gives you the statistics for that group and we can see that mostly boys are struggling. Interestingly, no EAL pupils are included, which suggests they are being well supported. School statistics, annual and half term are quite similar in how they run. The unique features of the half term version are that it allows you two customizable personal data columns and allows you to set a target for the current school year providing statistics from this. The annual version tracks pupils from their entry into the foundation stage right through to the end of year 6. Instead of putting in data every half term, it is updated once at the end of every academic year. It calculates the average sub-level progress per year a pupil makes and then uses this to estimate the end of year 6 level. It also turns national curriculum levels into point scores per pupil. And then for a whole group gives average point scores and statistics based on this. Please try the downloadable demos available on the Primary 2's site and view the manual for more detailed explanation of the features. This is also downloadable from the site. You can request an interactive demonstration through Skype. Please email for this or use the contact form which can also be used for any other enquiries. Thank you for watching this demonstration for school statistics from Primary Tools.